Assalamu alaikum alaykum YouTube viewers. The topic of today's discussion is eigenfunctions and eigenvalues. In this video, I am going to describe what are eigenfunctions, what are eigenvalues and what is an eigen equation. So, first of all, you need to consider an equation, a general equation, an operator multiplied by a function giving out a constant factor multiplied by the same function, same function which was on the left hand side of the equation. If any equation follows this structure, then I can say that this equation, that equation is an eigenvalue equation. This is the general form of an eigenvalue equation and whatever equation follows this general form is said to be the eigenvalue equation. So taking an example, if I take operator and uh, operator to be A, uh, first of all you need to know what is an operator. An operator is a mathematical instruction applied on a, on a function like if I want to apply the derivative on f of x then I can also write it uh, and then I can play uh, I can write at the place of a d over dx into f of x here d over dx is the operator that is being applied on the function f of x so if I call d over dx as a then a is my operator the operator that is being applied on the function f of x it will give out a constant factor multiplied by the same function that was on the left hand side of the equation. So this a is the constant factor and this f of x is the same function. So this equation is uh, following the general structure of the eigenvalue equation. So I can say that this is an eigen equation. So you know that time independent Schrodinger wave equation is given as h psi is equal to e psi. Here h is the Hamiltonian operator that is being applied on the function psi and it is giving out a constant factor e multiplied by psi, the same function that was on the left hand side of the equation. So I can say that this equation follows the general structure of Eigen equation. Uh, I, can now com I will compare h here is the operator. So here is the operator. Here is the operator. So h here is the operator. Psi, psi here is a function and psi here is a function is equal to a constant factor e. So this is the constant factor is equal to constant factor e multiplied by psi that was on the left hand side same function the same function. So the next thing it belongs to a class of equations called eigenvalue equation. This is the equation this is this belongs to the class of equation called eigenvalue equation. Eigenvalue is a partial transition of German word eigenvert. Okay, from where this word eigenvalue have come, the eigenvalue is a uh, partial translation, a partial transition of a German translation of a German word eigenword, which means characteristic value. Now, this is the definition of eigen equation that when an operator operates on a function, okay, when an operator operates on a function, when an operator operates on a function and the same function is reproduced, okay, the same function is reproduced with the same numerical value, okay, the same numerical value, then the function is called eigenfunction, then this function is known as the eigenfunction and the numerical value is called eigenvalue. This numerical value is called the eigenvalue, the equation that contains both eigenfunction and eigenvalue. So an equation that contains an eigenfunction and an eigenvalue is said to be an eigen equation. Schrodinger wave equation is eigen, eigenvalue equation for Hamiltonian operator. As you can see that Schrodinger wave equation follows the same structure. If I say operator, here operator in Schrodinger wave equation, operator is Hamiltonian operator and the function is psi will be equal to constant factor which is energy and same function psi. So I can say that this equation, this Schrodinger wave equation follows the same structure as eigenvalue equation. So I can say that my Schrodinger wave equation is an eigenvalue equation. The eigenvalue of Hamiltonian operator E is called the energy eigenvalue. This E is known as the energy eigenvalue. So, so if I take an example d over dx into e a x. I want to prove that this equation is eigen equation. So this d over dx here is operator and this here is the function. So if I take the derivative it will come out to be equal to a into e a x. So this here, this part here is the operator. 
this part here is the function this part here is the constant value and this part here is the same function that was present on the left hand side of the equation so I can say that this equation follows the eigen the follows the structure of eigen equation so this is an eigen equation now if I take another example d over dx sine of x if I want to prove that this equation follows the eigen equation or not d over dx sine of x as you know that the derivative of sine of x is not sine of x but cos of x so this here is an operator and this here is a function and this here comes out to be the function that is different from the left hand side so this is not eigen equation since the answer is changed so this is not an eigen equation taking some other examples if I take d over dx e of x that was example number one example number two I am going towards example number three if I take d over dx into e of x then this will come out to be equal to one into e of x so this is the operator this is a function giving out a constant value and eigenvalue multiplied by the eigen function so this is the equation that follows the eigen equation structure so I can say that this is an eigen equation moving on towards another example if I take d over dx c raised to power minus 4 x then the derivative of this equation will come out to be actually this is e my minus 4 x then the derivative of this equation will come out to be minus 4 e into minus 4 x so this is an eigen equation as you as you can see that this function total is being repeated here and this is the eigen value this is the constant value so I can say that this is an eigen value equation with an eigen value of minus 4 if I take another example like d square over dx square double derivative d square over dx square giving out uh, on sine of 4x giving out d over dx and now if I uh, apply one derivative on sine 4x then it will be equal to 4 cos 4x okay these are double derivative of uh, the question is actually the double derivative of sine 4x if I take one derivative of sine 4x then the answer will be d over dx 4 cos uh, 4 cos 4x and now I am applying derivative again on this equation the equation uh, the answer to this equation will become minus 16 sine 4x the first derivative gives 4 cos 4x the second derivative of this equation will give out minus 16 sine 4x so you can see that this is an eigenvalue equation as sine 4x and sine 4x are same and I have an eigenvalue of minus 16 here this is an eigen value and this here is the eigen function and so this equation is the uh, is an example of eigen value equation taking last example like if I have d over dx on 5x3 then what would happen what will be the derivative the derivative will be equal to 3 into 5 multiplied by x squared so 3 5 the 15 15 x squared this is not an eigen function as in eigen function it had to repeat this same value here but the same value is not repeated so this is not an eigen value uh, uh, this is not an eigen function because here x raised to power 3 but here x is raised to power 2 so this is not an eigen function if I compare more closely uh, if I write it like this if I compare this with this here it will come out that here it is the, the function is 5x3 but here the function has changed to 5x2 our power is reduced so the same function is not repeated on the right hand side of the equation so I can say that this is not an eigen equation so these are the eigen values and eigen equation and examples hope you're getting my point so inshallah see you in the next video if you have any question you can ask freely in the comments